One area most nations can agree on, of course, is the need for innovation. That will be one of the main focuses here in Hangzhou. It's almost a given that the tech jobs of the future will transform our planet. But will they create enough jobs? Or will development in robotics actually destroy jobs? CCTV's Nathan King traveled to Pittsburgh, site of the 2009 G20 summit, for an interview with the man dubbed as the father of field robotics. Pittsburgh is known as the Steel City, but in the 21st century, it could become Robot City. This is the Robotics Institute at Carnegie Mellon University, now a global hub for the technologies of tomorrow, from self-driving cars to space probes destined for the moon. In the beginning, robotics was science fiction and fantasy. Uh, there really were no robots at the time we set out to develop, secure, feed the world and explore worlds beyond. Professor Red Whitaker helped found this institute until recently the only place on the planet where you could get a PhD in robotics. That's why Uber decided to test its self-driving cars here using the talent and technology that now means big business. This has become multi, multi-billion dollar uh, business uh, where the major car companies are all creating huge automation centers, uh, billion dollar investments in the technology, uh, looking at how this will infuse into the cars of the future. But it's not just cars. Many industries could be transformed with the tech developed here. There is an optimism in the air. New industries creating the high-tech jobs of the future. Robotics has become an economic engine uh, in creating new jobs, new enterprise, and uh, whole new ways of thinking about uh, what we will do uh, in agriculture, mining, driving, uh, so many of the enterprises that uh, haven't changed in centuries. Now, Professor Whitaker has set his sights on the moon. This is Andy, a solar-powered moon rover, a robot that could live on the moon for centuries. It's this sort of technology that is attracting global talent to Pittsburgh. Gong Chao Hui came all the way from Shanghai to study here. He knows he's part of something big. We hope the technology we develop here can be applied in many different fields and can benefit the society in a very broad sense. It's a new dawn for cities like Pittsburgh. The question is, can they create as many jobs as they used to? Nathan King, CCTV, Pittsburgh.